I am at a Portland van gathering. So back in December, my friend Sam had a van gathering in Portland, and today we're having another one. Um, it's in August now, and she's been on the road for a while now that her van is built out. And there are a few more people here, and there's a van that I just uh, started to look at that I wanted to grab my camera and show you. So let's go check out, I think his name's Craig. Let's go check out Craig's van. Oh, and Simon's in here too. Oh, hey. Hi, I'm Craig, and this is my 2015 four-cylinder 144 Sprinter van. And uh, this interior I've built myself in my driveway and garage. And it's um, all built out of 8020. Uh, the uh, the uh, doors are Luca Bond uh, that's sold by 8020, and they have detente hinges that hold them up most of the time. And uh, um, again, as you can see here, um, this is my uh, my solar controller or monitor, I should say. That's for my power for my water plumbing. Here's the sink stove made by uh, Smev or Dometic sells them, and it has a one burner system with uh, uh, the sink. And is that a propane? It's propane, and I'll show you the propane system here. In the bottom drawer, I have um, a canister that I don't normally leave connected when I'm driving, and that just uh, runs the uh, one burner stove. I don't have that way; you don't have to vent it. I've got uh, magnetically pulled drawers. There's an upper area too. I have just your typical four and a half cubic foot uh, empty empty Fridge. refrigerator right now because <laughs> I just cleaned it up and I just got back from uh, Sawtooth's. Um, my... Can you show us how your table works? Oh, I'd love to. Um, the table right is very simple. It's just got the typical standard fold down leg that locks up and you just pick it up like, like a little bit. Pick it up like that. Turn it around. If you see these two little rubber mounts, you just take it over here, and it fits on these two mounting pegs, and just fits down like that, and cool. it's all the way. And so this just goes into the end of that little groove. That's also that groove. This, these That's are all 80, 80 20 stuff. 80 20 mounting things that you can slide it back and forth when you're. I'll just take it out and put it back, and I can show you that too. Oh, awesome. So you just pop that, just stick it into the grooves, and if you want to sit down, you can pull it up to you, or you can slide it away from you. You've got an extra seat right here, and you can pull that over and use it for an extra seat. Okay. But it also works for storing your porta -potty. Porta potty so your porta potty fits in there, and then it just tucks back back into the cabinet out of the way and then I've got more storage right here for I store mostly bread and stuff in there an extra little cooler if you're gonna go somewhere and you just want to grab it with you and take it with you so it's just got a little velcro mounting <laughs> and uh, works nice. out real well the solar controller and battery are back inside I was originally gonna put in uh, a lithium-ion battery and what you have to keep inside, and uh, the controller's right next to it. But I, I didn't want to really um, spend the money on it yet, so I thought I'd just try out the system the way it is. Mm -hmm. So I use the uh, existing floor mounts to uh, just tie in a, a piece of bar steel, and then I can put different bikes at different lengths. You can get about three bikes in here if you need to. Um, and then you just mount your bike underneath the, underneath the bed and you're good to go. Now, uh, did you have um, Van Specialties make this? Van Specialties made this bed, yes. Okay. Um, yeah. stuff. You can see their stuff a mile away. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 And I've reinforced it since I bought it, so. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And kind of remodified it. So. And what size is your bed? Um, 
it's kind of a queen Queen size short queen i would call it but i have storage like kia storage units that i store extra food or gear or stuff i'm using like wet gear okay or bike gear then i have um, also storage on both sides that uh, you have underneath you can slide this forward and then you can store all your your, your water and cables okay and then i have uh, 200 watts of solar on the roof i also have a, another 100 watts tucked under the bed okay that if you're sitting in the shade uh-huh uh you can take that out and i've got a 25 foot cable that i just plug in there and run the cable out and okay into the sun so that it's a hot day and you want to be uh, out and about and <coughs> You want to be uh, want to be under the trees, and then like your rig, I've got a shower, which is right here. Ah. Just cold water shower. Okay. And where do you get that connection? Well, it goes to a, a 17 gallon tank underneath the floor, which is. But I mean the hardware for that. Um, that's marine uh, outlet. Okay. Um, just a marine clean out. Yeah, it's just a marine. I think it's what they call uh, Coupler just couples into a typical. This okay. Extra long hose, and you just it just couples right into it like that. And you just push on it to release it. Oops. <laughs> and water it, but uh, it's a very simple system. And then when I'm taking a shower, I've got this is my my curtain, and I just so snaps just... in right there, right there. I don't worry about the panels getting wet. Plumbing and everything goes underneath. Can you see all that back in there? Yeah. My my. Uh, Pump is back there too, mounted on the wall. And so your tank is uh, under? My, here's, uh, I, 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 I'm very fond of a good glass of wine. So, so you have for real camping, glasses? I have real glasses. Awesome. That they get tucked in. I have a jar. Yeah. I have a canning jar that I use. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I just like the, the, the one refinement then, I like. And then I have an espresso pot I have to use. You know, so okay. Espresso in the morning and a really nice glass of wine. Everything else can be bare bones, but that's nice. That's necessary. And you'll see the stainless water tank is strapped in here. Oh, see? And then nice. it's got a quick coupler on that side that you just pull that rubber cap off of it. And then you quick couple it right up to it. I've got a quick coupler and it just goes up there. And when the water starts to blow out of the, uh, the vent, that means it's full. Also, if you, I have a shoreline. There's also a line that comes down for, here, I'll show you this too. This comes down and you can tie on another line for your gray water. So oh, just, okay. I keep the cap on there to keep the wasps seem to like to go oh, into that. Yeah. So that's just a gray water connector. And if uh, you're in a park or something, you have a little extension tube, okay. goes into one of those Coleman plastic bags. And uh, it's, you know, usually I've never filled one up, so okay. um, it works pretty well. Or if I'm off, you know, off grid and somewhere out BLM land I just let it run on the ground because it's just gray water it's just right soapy water so yeah and then if I need shore power I just reach back under here and just pop the connection oh <laughs> and just tie into it okay and then I've got a um, my refrigerator is switches automatically to 110 when okay. you hook up the shore power and I also have an outlet right next to it a 110 outlet that I can plug in mm -hmm. if I need to put a fan or something. It just snaps in place and you're done. It's a simple system. Yep. That's what I like. I needed. To, I don't even have an inverter. Although I'm thinking about putting one in for a computer. So mm -hmm. I'm looking for like a little small one. I don't want a big unit. Yeah. So for me, it's like keep it simple. Yeah, exactly. Well, a lot of mine is pretty simple too, surprisingly. Yeah, yours is beautiful. Thank you so much for showing us your van. This is, you did a great job. Well, thank you thank for you. allowing me to show you. This is Joni with the Galavan. Enjoy your journey.